Hi everybody, Robin Nichols here talking about colour curves for Photoshop Elements. Now this is going to be a fairly short chat simply because colour curves doesn't really work terribly well in my opinion. Uh, where do we find it? Well naturally we'd find it under the Adjust Colour moniker there and it's Adjust Colour Curves. So the dialog box looks like this and it's one of those sort of weird dialog boxes where, where you get preview windows but the preview windows are kind of too small and when you're making what I think are you know, quite important colour changes uh, it's a shame but the thing is rather like the black and white tool when we change one of the parameters here it actually updates in the main edit window as well so I suppose that's some benefit. Um, there was a fair amount of sort of bad news about uh, colour curves when it first came out because clearly Photoshop CS has curves, which is a very powerful tool that kind of looks like this square box with a straight line through it. And you can click on the line and bend the line up and down to make the highlights or the shadows on the mid-tones or the three-quarter tones brighter or darker. And you can also, of course, do it for all RGB channels. So it's a fantastic tool. They put it into Photoshop Elements, I think, with most of that stuff turned off. So this is probably just curves rebadged and represented in a slightly different skin so that for example we can choose backlight darken highlights default increase contrast you know a number of presets and when we're done with that like solarize or something we can then adjust them so i'm going to choose increase midtones and then we can adjust them and you can see here that pushes the highlight end of things at the top the lower left on this line is the shadow so adjust shadows i can make the shadow go darker it's considerably darker by pulling it down or pushing that line up makes the shadows it actually opens up some of the tone in the shadows so if I can show you there probably best way to show you like this so I can lift the detail up and actually brightens the shadows or it darkens the shadows so you know it has some it has some use but uh, it's it's rather like trying to use curves with a pair of handcuffs on I don't know if you've ever tried that but you get the idea it's kind of a half-hearted effort in my opinion uh, and not very effective um, Okay, and this is probably why, you know, I always teach uh, students to use, let's see if I can just pump that up a little bit more, okay, to students to use uh, levels as much as possible, because that is pretty good. It actually has, you know, again, it, you can adjust things through RGB, separate, separate channels, or all the channels together, and you can adjust the highlights. And the it's not quite as versatile as curves, I'll give you that, but it's certainly better than adjust color curves. Anyway, give it a go, let's just reset that, and see what you think.